and torture talk like share subscribe to the page hit the thumbs up button if you like the content <laughs> now i know y'all seen the thumbnail and y'all don't understand why i'm laughing well we all can't be right in the comments and sometimes we're wrong and i think on this case a lot of y'all was wrong and i was right you know what I'm saying? Now, according to Will Evans, which I like Will Evans' channel. He's pretty good. He's always serious. He just makes me laugh because he's so serious all the time. <laughs> he be blocking people from, from the stream. <laughs> Somebody say something he don't like. He kick him off the stream. Like, nah, you can block. <laughs> this ain't a democracy over here. <laughs> he said that one time. This ain't a democracy over here. <laughs> ain't no freedom of speech over here. <laughs> anyway, man, look. So, look, check this out, right? So it comes out that Cassie allegedly, I gotta preface that I say this, allegedly, and I don't mean to laugh at y'all in the comments, I'm just bullshitting y'all. Allegedly, uh Cassie basically helped Diddy. And it's coming out now. And I said this before that they're gonna turn Cassie from uh from accomplice to a victim. They're gonna do that with all of them. And this again, it just has nothing to do with Diddy doing what he did. But a lot of people, it wasn't just him. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to understand that. They, 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 they throwing all this on him because it's easier to just get him and not get all of them because they have, I'm trust and believe, all these are the powerful people. And I'm hearing that there's some tapes that's floating around that's being sold. And they got some people on there uh, having, you know, with relations with minors and all types of stuff. And there's tapes floating around. So we're going to listen to Will Evans and we're going to get back. Listen, man, I know this was a long intro. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it was, but I had to get that, I had to get that off. But I gotta get my spill. Stick with me. You know what I'm saying? This is Toy to Talk. If you like the content, please subscribe. If you are new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the channel. Fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell my merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. So if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, cash app, PayPal's in the description. They called me the gym. I went from thirteen hundred subscribers to over 11,000 subscribers, million by Monday. Let me know where you're from, too. So that's the fastest I could do it. But y'all know what I'm saying. Maybe I'll cut it down. But I said I was going to do that one time, and somebody said no. So let's get to the content, man. I'm sorry. All right, man. This comes courtesy of Will Evans. Make sure y'all go follow him. I'm going to leave his links in the description. You know what it is. So let's go. When you see that these situations is coming out, they're never haphazard. It's always, it's always a plan. The article says possible witnesses have been notified by investigators that they could be brought in to testify in front of a federal grand jury in New York City, according to one source. This is CNN, you guys. Bring, uh, excuse me, bringing uh, individuals who have filed civil lawsuits against Combs before a grand jury will mark a significant escalation in the government's ongoing investigation involving the producer and Bad Boy Records founder. Ongoing investigation. That means we've been doing this for a while. We've been investigating him. This ain't this ain't been planned since people start suing, bro. And the reason that that Cassie video came out when it did is because they need to make her a viable witness for the government. Now people are going to see her as a witness instead of an accomplice. I just said that. <laughs> Yo, I literally just said that. <laughs> I told you. I know how this works, man. That's exactly what they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? They go, that's what they're going to do. Now, I don't know if that's the reason why that video came out. I have no clue. But I'm telling you, all those people that was involved, they're going to make them all victims or they're going to make them testify against him. Say, oh, he made me do it. He drugged me. He did this. He was just this monster. And again, I'm not saying Diddy wasn't. I'm just saying, you know, did he do it or did he not do it? <laughs> Let's go. It's a great point that I made. Because they had the video for 10 years. They had the video where he beating up Cassie for 10 years. So why I put it out now is because we need to make her be appear as she wasn't with none of that. She was she was getting beat up by Diddy. Even if, from what we're hearing, we hear the stories that Cassie uh, was complicit sometimes, you know, making other women do certain things. Those stories are out there. I'm not saying that, but there's there's stories out there that Cassie was involved helping Diddy do certain things. 
But if we're going to make her, if we're the government, we're the feds, and we're trying to get this man put away forever, we need to make her appear as a victim so we can use her on the stand. So put the video out now right before we arrest this man. A few months before we arrest him, right after we raid his homes, put that video out now so the public sees her as a victim. So when we pick a jury for all this, everybody kind of knows she's the victim and not somebody, she, she's not a, a tainted witness. That's a great analysis. He just said that was very good how he broke that down because that's exactly how this works. When they when they convict you in the court of public opinion, there's really nothing you can do. You know what I'm saying? And I think that that's what they did with Diddy. You know what I'm saying? I think Diddy. And to be honest, I mean, to be clear, a lot of people didn't like Diddy before all this anyway. He was always considered like, especially especially over on this side, and you know say even in the black community. Everybody looked at him as a snake. A lot of people didn't like Diddy. They didn't like what he did to all those artists and all the stuff that he was doing to the record labels. And you know what? Another thing too that really pissed people off about Diddy: the cheesecake walk. When he made them walk that to get that cheesecake, that right there really, I think, pushed everybody over the edge. And I know that sounds kind of corny and stupid, but I think a lot of people looked at him differently. They respected his his business mind but they didn't like him as a person so he was already going into this this losing battle you know what i'm saying he was already going to this battle losing and it's his fault though nobody else is his fault but and this is what happens when you get caught when you get um convicted in the court of public opinion it's over for you dog it's over for you. at that point that was a great point that i made so they they're gonna they're they're gonna they have to make sure that she looks a certain way because we need you're our star witness. And they're gonna come to you, hey, we could put this man away. I'm sure she knew that the government was gonna do all this, or if she didn't know what they were gonna do, she knew that the government was looking at him before she filed her lawsuit, Cassie. I would I would believe that. That she probably knew the government was coming after Diddy before. They probably contacted her first, like, hey, this is a good time. File your lawsuit. I promise you, he's not going to be able to hurt you. Not and, and not just because everybody just you know, but she might feel like, well, if I go public with anything, then and you guys don't arrest them, then I just put myself in danger, and you guys ain't did nothing. Now, the one thing I will say about that, I believe that that is cool horsing someone to do something. So if the federal government did that, and Diddy lawyers find out, he's gonna go. He's gonna be a free man. He's going to be a free man. You know what I'm saying? Now, because I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on this, but I'm not sure. I don't think that they can. Uh, <laughs> I think I don't think they can actually do that. Now, I'm not saying Will's saying that they did. Uh, that's exactly what happened. I'm just saying. I think that in theory that people would think that that would happen. But I think that if they found out that the federal government did something like that or the FBI did something like that. Yeah. Yeah. You could probably sue them for that. And he probably can. He probably would get off. You know what I'm saying? You 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 suggesting to her that she should sue him now before they do it their investigation, and we'll make sure you protected. Like I I just don't I don't think that that's how this works. I don't. I could be wrong. Maybe somebody maybe a lawyer in the comments can actually school me because I I don't but I don't think it works like that. Mm hmm. So I'm sure that that this has been planned for a long time. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure this has been planned for a long time. Somebody said Diddy didn't kill himself. I wouldn't be surprised if he did, for real. God, God, uh, God forbid. But if he did, I wouldn't be surprised. With y'all, with y'all, I would be surprised if they say that. But I think that uh, I continue to say this. I definitely think something's gonna happen. Because it's too much stuff going on. And I think that people were saying that there's videos on the dark web of uh, people that he have on tape and somebody sold the tape to somebody and got, and then now it's circulating around. It's only a matter of time before that, that gets out. Like, it doesn't work like that. If, once somebody finds out that you have something like that, they're going to put it out. And then everybody's going to be able to see it. And trust and believe, if it's a crazy name, oh my God, bro. 
Let's keep it going. This is a serious, man. Like, you go from being a billionaire to, to this ain't even like R. Kelly's situation because R. Kelly wasn't a billionaire. Like, he was already check to check, Loki. You know what I mean? People were already stealing his money. Y'all remember they took all the furniture out of his house? This ain't like R. Kelly. Like, he, Diddy was living at the highest level yesterday. Today, he's still living it. He's still a billionaire right now, talking today. Now, the thing about R. Kelly, um, I believe R. Kelly. He he, I believe he either sold his stuff or wrote or, or surrendered all his stuff over. You know what I'm saying? But if he was, to, if R. Kelly was to get all the writers' credits that he was owed or owned or he wrote, yeah, he would definitely be a billionaire, hands down. Hands down, R. Kelly would be a billionaire if he if he did that. But even though no, I know that's not his argument, but I was just saying. So we have an article right here. If you say something stupid in the chat, bro, we're not even going to address you. You're just going to be banned and never see another video again. Y'all be talking about <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> yeah, what did I just say? I told you. This is what he does, man. He's so serious. <laughs> he be getting niggas the fuck out of here. <laughs> Listen, man, you say anything that I don't like. <laughs> anything stupid. I'm kicking your ass out of here. And you'll never see a video again. <laughs> What about this? Shut up, nigga. You out of here. <laughs> um, oh, shit. So, this is what the article says. Combs has been named in eight civil lawsuits since November, seven directly accusing him of S.A. One of the eight lawsuits filed by former ga- uh, girlfriend Cassie has been settled. Another lawsuit accused his son Christian of S.A. Uh, and he, Sean Combs is accused of aiding and abetting. So they're saying that he was helping his son do the same thing that he'd be doing. Now, I want to ask this question. Now, this is a serious question. I know I know, essay is a serious topic. And I want to ask the ladies in, in the chat. I know essay is a serious topic, but what is, how would I even ask this without sounding crazy? What would you consider something that's not essay but people will say it's essay. That's that's the question. What would you consider not essay, in your opinion, that people would consider essay? Like, all right, for example, if I, if let's say for instance, uh, I don't know, a girl walked by and I was looking at looking at her uh, the butt. You know what I'm saying? And she turned around and said, "What you looking at?" And I was like, "Looking at your ass." You know what I mean? Would you consider that a, uh, that because I believe. It could be SA without physically touching people, too. I believe that that's the case. I could be wrong on that, but I believe that that's the case. And also, too, someone else's opinion can get you in trouble. So not even opinion, someone else's, what they believe. So I was working at a job, and and they said, if let's say, for instance, me and my girlfriend at the job was talking crazy to each other, I'm talking, like, sexually, and that person felt like I was being disrespectful, to her or saying some things that they didn't like, they can report me and I could get fired for it. Even though she agreed to it. So that that's what I'm saying. So let me know in the chat what y'all think about that. Let's keep it going. This article just came out about two hours ago. If that. A, spokes- a spokesperson for the Homeland Security Investigators Agency declined to comment on the existence of a grand jury, but noted the investigation remains ongoing. When you see that, all right. Make sure that y'all go follow Will Evans, man. I'm going to put his link in the description. You know what it is. Just don't go over there with no jokes, cause the nigga will block you. <laughs> you say anything crazy in the chat, he getting you out of here. I'm just telling you right now. So don't go over there saying nothing crazy in the chat, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no democracy over there. Ain't no freedom of speech over there. You know what I'm saying? He gets his takes. He do. He worked real hard. I will say that about Will Evans, man. I gotta, I, I gotta give him his, his, his props, man. That guy works really hard, man. He does a lot of investigative journalism, man. He's, he's one of the best in this, um, in this space. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I wish he had, I wish he had a million subscribers, man, because he needs to be up there with, with academia. He's one of those guys, just like me, one of those guys, man. You know what I'm saying? We need to be up there with the academics, man, so we can get them out of here. Like for real. 
So tell your friends about us, man. You know what it is. But look, how do I feel about this whole Cassie thing? I feel like this, man. This is what this this is my thing, right? I think that they all it all tainted. Everybody that was a part of it, they all tainted. If you was at the sexual party, you attain it. You're tainted. If you if you went to the sexual party, you're tainted. I don't care if you say to me you was coerced to get in there. No, you're tainted. Unless somebody physically dragged you there. If somebody physically dragged you there, then it, don't make excuses for these people you don't know. Because that's what they'll do. They'll play on you and then you come to, then come to find out. You support this whole thing and then come to find out. Come to find out, they were lying to you. And now you look stupid. That's why I don't support none of that. If you if you it if you engaged and was at those parties, now if you was sexually assaulted or you was essayed, I totally disagree with that. You know what I'm saying? Totally. I denounce that, totally disagree with that, and I think man should his his uh his, 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 his balls should be cut off. Simple as that. That happens. But what about the other side? What about the what about the, the women who do that to, to the men? You know what I'm saying? Do we do we do we say the same thing about them? That's another story for another day. I'm just saying. If you're there, if you were there at these parties, don't talk to me about anything. Because I'm looking at it from this point of view. Especially if you were there on repeat. If you went one time, you can have probably have a, a, a decent argument with me. But if you went there ten times, five times, even three times, don't talk to me about this. And again, I definitely think that they're going to turn all of these people who were accomplices into victims, and they're going to use them to witnesses and basically go against Diddy to get him out of here. And honestly, they don't even need to do that because Diddy is going to get himself out of here anyway. Because he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a dirt bag. He's a slum a slime ball. He's been a slime ball for a long time, and it's finally catching up with him. But truth is truth. And if these people were accomplices, and now all of a sudden they're playing victim, I guess that's the way the game is played. But it's dirty. Either way, man, I'm out of here. See y'all. Peace. Bye, man.